In this tutorial we will discuss about anodic protection method of corrosion. Let's begin with introduction. The anodic protection describe a method of reducing the corrosion rate of exposed metals and alloys in a given environment or electrolyte by controlled anodic polarization, which induces passivity. Therefore, it can be applied only to those metals and alloys that show passivity when in contact with an appropriate environment or electrolyte. It is mainly based on the formation of a diffusion barrier protective films formed on the surface of metals and alloys using externally applied anodic current. The corrosion rate is decreased substantially and hence the anodic protection method causes even 5 orders of magnitude that is 10 to the power 5 decreased corrosion rate in some corrosion systems. In anodic protection method, the materials to be protected are made the anode in an electrochemical circuit with an appropriate cathode such as mild steel, stainless steel, or oxidized graphite. The potential of the anode is maintained in the passive region by a potentiostat using a suitable reference electrode. When an external apparatus like potentiostat is used, a charge of anodic current can be derived as a function of potential of the metallic substances. A typical relation between anodic current and polarization potential in the anodic direction is shown in the figure. When the potential of the metallic substances shifts from the active dissolution region to the more anodic potential direction, the metallic substances change to a passive state in which the dissolution current nearly stops. Therefore, the anodic current density remains independent with further anodic polarization to more positive direction. Consequently, corrosion is much inhibited or controlled in such a passive state of substances. The advantages of anodic protection method are This method can be applied in extremely corrosive environments. And, this method can run in low current requirements. The anodic protection method is most extensively applied to protect equipment used to store and handle sulfuric acid H2SO4. Irons or steels can be protected effectively by making them anodic and shifting their potential into the passive region of the substances. Current should be very low or low for the anodic passivation. This method has lower operating cost, etc. The disadvantages of anodic protection method are This method is unable to form a stable, continuous, protective, passive film on the metal to be protected. And this method is applicable only to metals and alloys which are readily passivated when anodically polarized, but not to zinc, magnesium, cadmium, silver, copper, or copper-based alloys. The incomplete passivation can have catastrophic consequences, in the form of intergranular corrosion, stress corrosion cracking, corrosion fatigue or pitting corrosion, etc. Thanks for watching, bye bye, see you.